The Kenya Medical Research Institute has now recommended that the use of a single dose regimen of the human papilloma virus or HPV vaccine as Kenya scales up its efforts to eradicate cervical cancer. Well, the recommendation comes on the backdrop or against the backdrop of the country missing its HPV vaccination target by almost 70 percent, with a paltry 31 percent of girls aged between 10 and 14 years having completed the HPV HPV vaccination dose. And as Laura Otieno reports, various stakeholders have recommended the upscaling of community education to enhance the uptake of the vaccine, with a 14-year-old girl in Kisumu leading from the front. Mm. At Mamboleo Estate in Kisumu, 14-year-old Stacy Blessing stretches in preparation for her morning run. Stacy completed her HPV dose in January this year. She is among 31% of teenage girls in Kenya who have taken the two-dose regimen of the HPV vaccine, which offers protection against cervical cancer. She has one for the run, where she puts all the Stacy is planning an awareness marathon that will traverse Kisumu as she onboards her peers onto the vaccination train. I was supposed to go for my vaccine, so after doing my research, I was quite shocked that HPV was somehow related to cervical cancers and as well as other cancers. So. And most people didn't know that, so I was like, since I'm an athlete, why not do a charity run for it? Kenya introduced the HPV vaccine in 2019 after successfully running a two-year pilot program in Makueni County. The Ministry of Health had targeted to vaccinate 3.2 million girls aged between 10 and 14 by June 2023, but so far, only 31% of the target has been attained, with counties such as Marsabit, Samburu, Isiolo and Wajir registering a vaccine uptake of less than 20%. Dr. Gregory Ganda, an oncologist based in Kisumu, attributing the low numbers to the lack of awareness, especially among parents who are required to consent on behalf of the minors before they get the vaccine. Uh, and according to them, you know, HPV is a sexually transmitted disease. And so they don't see why girls should be vaccinated against sexually transmitted disease. And they should uh, otherwise then be taught correct morals so that they don't get uh, uh, HPV. Sex is not something you can talk to schools. It's not been allowed. Yet we have a lot of teen pregnancies. So the information is abstain, abstain, abstain. Yes, you abstain, but what happens if you do not? HPV is a sexually transmitted disease with at least seven strains of the virus classified as high risk in causing cervical cancer. According to the National Cancer Control Program, Kenya has the highest burden of cancer-related mortalities across East Africa with 3,211 deaths annually attributed to cervical cancer. The HPV vaccine, offering what the Centers for Disease Control terms as a near 100% chance of cervical cancer prevention. With 69% of girls aged between 10 and 14 receiving the first dose, Camry is now recommending a silver bullet for the country to fire up its arsenal against cervical cancer. What is coming out is that one dose might actually be just enough uh, uh, for, for you to be able to prevent uh, pre-malignant lesions and malignant lesions, that is pre-cancer and cancer. And so we have a very high uh, target towards getting at least one dose to every girl. Uh, but the second dose is what is the standard right now. With the World Health Organization putting in place strategies to ensure the eradication of cervical cancer by 2030, Stacy continues to stay on track, contributing to the bigger wheel that is spinning towards the eradication of the disease. <laughs> Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.